Today I'm going to go over three ways you can deal with leaves in the lawn. Now just remember these are different methods. You can uh, decide for yourself how you want to go for this. Um, I think people get fixated on how to deal with leaves and they forget that it's really up to user preference, what type of tools you have available, and the amount of time and size of yard. So uh, if you're if you have a huge yard with a bunch of leaves, um, you're going to do whatever is quickest. And if you're going for that pristine, nice look, you're probably not going to mulch the leaves in. You're probably going to want to just bag them with your mower. So, I mean, it's different things for different people. You just figure out what is uh, your goal and go from there. But the first method is obviously here I'm just going over them with a the mower. I have the rear discharge closed, so it's mulching the leaves up. Now, you can go around with it open, but essentially it's just flinging the leaves through the hole, and some get chopped up, but most don't. Uh, so that method I'll go into detail later, but right now I am mulching them up, and it breaks them down quite a bit. Uh, it's not, you know, 100%, but if you do this periodically, it's going to break them down and it'll get into the soil and you'll have a nice soil from it. All right, so this is why uh, I understand why some people bag the leaves. You can still see them. Now, we still got more to come, so this isn't the final uh, mulch mow. If there weren't so many leaves up there waiting to come down, I would go over that probably once or twice more just to break it down a lot. Uh, but I did want to point out something. The Honda has this Versa mow system. Now, I had it on fully mulch over here, and then I put the Versamo to the number two slot like they suggest, and you can see here, the strips. Uh, personally, I never use that. It's nice being able to switch back and forth easily, uh, but I always leave it fully on or fully off because fully mulch mode looks just fine. Letting it leak out the leaves. I mean, I guess that's good if you're gonna be doing a massive amount and going two or three times in one day. Uh, but you know my technique is to keep doing it periodically so you should never get to that many. Um, let's see, another disappointment over here. Check this out. Oh boy. So a bunch of stuff was left on the yard here and that killed it. One method you can use for dealing with all the leaves along the edges of your garden beds, play sets, anything that's not grass, I'll actually go over with the blower and blow it all onto the grass. Um, for the majority of the leaves, you know, mowing over them is way faster, so I like to do that. Um, the thing you have to understand is if you do this method, you're going to need to mulch those leaves in really quick, otherwise they can smother and kill the grass. Um, so the day after I shot this video, there was a rainstorm coming, so I made sure I mulched them all in really well. Uh, most people wait too long and that's why their lawns look terrible in the spring because they either waited too long in the fall, they might have still done it but it already did the damage or sometimes snow comes early and then boom you got this huge pile of leaves and all winter long it's just breaking down causing mold so make sure you get it done really quick. Now when it comes to actually mulching up the leaves, uh, what I like to do when it's a big pile like this is I will have it discharge. Um, so with the Honda you can go from open all the way 
down to close in an increment so I will do that because the mower has that option uh, but if you don't you could just side discharge it or rear discharge it and keep going around in circles like this now the reason I'm going in circles is because uh, mowers will naturally blow the leaves to one side or the other and so I'm trying to push the clippings into the center so the next pass I'm going over it a second time uh, that just helps create less of a mess and break down the bigger ones quicker um, and then I'll, I'll go everything over everything once and then I'll lower the uh, setting go over it again keep going all the way down to mulch now if you don't have that Versamo clip director or whatever it's called uh, just go over it once or twice while discharging and then put in the uh, plug for the mulcher or close the discharge and go over it uh, but the key here is you cannot you know wait and delay when it's a big pile um, it's I've, I've seen too many yards get destroyed because the leaves got all wet and gross and matted down I mean you saw that spot over where I showed everything died that was from like a week or two and because of the weather we've had and all that it didn't take much to just completely destroy that little patch so don't make that mistake Another option you can use is picking the leaves up themselves. Here I'm using a handheld uh, works mulcher. It, it mulches into really fine dust for the garden. Um, you can also use your lawnmower. Obviously, you're not going to go over garden areas with your lawnmower to bag it up. Um, so if you don't have the works, you could blow them in and then bag it or whatnot. Um, if you do do that method, just make sure you get them all picked up as soon as possible. Um, but what I like about this method is, um, at least with the works one, you can get the, the leaves up without messing up the mulch. When you use the blower, a lot of times you end up with a lot of mulch in the grass. Um, so that's been helpful. Then I also like that you can go over and do little bits here and there with it. Um, I know, you know, for me at least, I'll have maybe 10 minutes here or there so I can run out real quick, get some leaves up. Um, get a nice pile for their garden going and it's it's convenient that way um. all right so that time I went over the big pile with it halfway open and then I did a pass with it a quarter of the way open and then all the way closed and you can see it brought it down quite a bit so if you're doing bigger piles I would suggest doing it that way if you're doing just basic passes every week I keep it on full mulch um, then I showed you guys playing more with this guy here I got a well it's not really a whole basket yet but got quite a bit I'm gonna go dump this on the garden but I uh, I hope you guys see there's there's different ways to deal with leaves um, my personal preference is I don't like bagging them and then having to throw them away somewhere. Uh, I feel like that's more work getting them into bags and you know it's helpful to the lawn to the soil. Uh, my soil tests always show that I have high organic content and so that's good for the, the lawn. Um, but I also know some people like to blow them all straight into the woods so that way they're off the grass. I mean if you got a big yard and woods next to you super easy to do it that way nothing wrong with that um, other people like to you know bag it and get rid of it if that's your thing um, it's like that vac some people are gonna love it I already have comments of people who bought one because of the video and they say oh man this is great I love it some people are gonna look at that and go man that's too much work I don't want to do that and that's okay uh, we all have different styles and tastes so I'm hoping uh, you know, you learn a, a couple tricks in this video and then you can go back to your yard and figure out how to uh, deal with the leaves in your yard your way. And I think that's where the fun is in lawn care. Um, I love, I mean, it, it, it seems like it's just ADHD, but I like trying different things. Um, even today, you know, I changed my method up 
three different ways and I wasn't planning on it at the beginning, but I like to. It's fun to try different things. And you know what? I didn't even do it all today. I'm gonna leave more for later because I feel like, you know what? I got outside a little bit, I did some stuff. I got a lot of other stuff I gotta do, so I can't take the whole day to do it, but I got a good chunk done, and that's okay. So uh, that's why I like showing the different tools, because uh, if you're if you're that type where you can only deal with a few at a time, um, then the, the vac method might be for you. You can do a few at a time. Um, if you're gonna be blowing everything onto the grass and dealing with it that way, you're gonna have to set aside some time because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So once I got that pile on the grass, I had to deal with it. So that way the rain tomorrow doesn't mat it down and kill the grass like that spot over there. So it's all about figuring out how much time you've got, what you wanna do and going from there. Um, the whole leaf thing, there's a lot of people getting into fights over this. Yes, it's beneficial to the soil to have the mulch up if it's tiny enough in your soil, but there are plenty of reasons why that might not work out for you. So uh, don't stress it, just go with the flow, go with how you want your lawn to look. If you don't like the orange in the, your lawn, you're gonna wanna bag it and that's fine. So that's all I gotta say about that. All right, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. It's what makes this uh, really enjoyable and fun making all these videos. And uh, be sure to check out the ones below. Have a great day. Bye.